Doctor Who in the Drinks Trolley, Episode 6. I'm Pierre. And I am Vivian. Hi, Vivian. Today's feature beverage is Kim's Cosmo. Cheers! Today's recipe was sent to us by Kim, who says the Cosmo is her favorite cocktail. Cheers to you. Bartender Neil Murray says he created the Cosmopolitan in 1975 at the Court and Steakhouse in Minneapolis. Well, that's one of several claims to its origin. If you'd like us to cheers your favorite beverage in a future episode, just send a description or a recipe to the email address on your screen. Vivian, what story do you want to talk about today? We will talk about Doctor Who Battlefield, written by Ben Aronovich, and first broadcast September 6th to September 27th, 1989. Ben also wrote Remembrance of the Daleks, broadcast October 5th, 1988 and 10 episodes of Jupiter Moon. Jupiter Moon is a science fiction soap opera aired by British satellite broadcasting Galaxy Channel in 1990 and completed by the Sci-Fi Channel in 1996. Battlefield stars Sylvester McCoy as the Seventh Doctor, Sophie Aldred as Ace, and Nicholas Courtney as the Brigadier Lethbridge Stewart and Angela Bruce as the Brigadier Winifred Bombera. Check this out. He even played the spoons for me. What a great guy. Pierre met Sylvester McCoy on December 7th, 2013. And I'll never forget it. Spoiler alert! This story opens with Lethbridge Stewart and his wife Dorothy. Played by Angela Douglas shopping in a garden center. There's a glowing sword hilt. Brigadier Bambera is traveling with a unit convoy carrying a nuclear missile. Their communications are down. It must be the storm. <laughs> yeah, right. There is the glowing sword hilt again. We find the doctor and ace in the TARDIS control room. The lights are out. There's a distress call. It's a call for help. And it's coming from Earth. There's a glowing sun hilt. Again? Again? Man, that thing must be really important. The TARDIS materializes next to a road sign. Lake Vertigan, four kilometers that way. The Doctor and Ace hitch a ride from Peter Wormsley. Built by James Ellis. Who's on his way to an archaeological dig. A battlefield. There is something flying through space. It crashes to the ground nearby. There's an explosion. I see a black knight. He rises from the site of the crash, looking very menacing. There are more somethings flying through space. And more explosions. The Doctor, Ace, Peter, and Xiao Yong, played by Yin Tai, arrive at the Gore Crow Inn. Meanwhile, there's a battle going on near the TARDIS. Knights! From space. The With space, space guns! guns. Ace and Shaoling are sat outside the Gore Crow Inn having a beverage when boom, a knight falls out of the sky. He was exploded! Meh, it happens. He crashed through the roof of the Peruvian. And look at this. Will from London, an amazing guy and a super Doctor Who fan that I met on Twitter, got Sophie Aldrin to sign this when he, when he met her. And she signed a special boom just for me. Humans can be kind. They run to the brewery with the doctor. The doctor removes the knight's helmet. His name is Anselin. 
He is played by Marcus Gilbert. He recognizes the doctor. The doctor is Merlin. Now that's a little piece of character development I wasn't expecting. I knew it all along. Van Barra enters. Freeze! You're all under arrest. You and your freaky friends. <laughs> <laughs> Mordred enters. Kill them now! Mordred is played by Christopher Bowen. The Dr. Merlin scares him away. Then Van Barra vanquishes Ansel. Mordred opens a gateway between their two dimensions. Then he does some way over top laughing maniacally. <laughs> then his mum pops up. Our game was played by Gene Marsh, who also played in the Crusade 1965 and in the Dalek's Master Plan 6566. She was also once married to third doctor actor John Pertwee. The doctor gets Ace to blow a hole at the archaeological day. They find an ancient tunnel made of concrete. Really? Your game shot down Lethbridge Stewart's helicopter with magic points. That was not very nice. The tunnel leads Ace and the Doctor to an underwater spaceship. They found the growing sword hilt of Excalibur. I knew it was important. Ace pulls Excalibur out of its spot. Launching a green glowy snake thing. Defense system! Yeep, look out, Vivian! Ace is in a cupboard that is filling with water! It's an airlock. The doctor releases her. He swims straight up with the sword. She is a lady of the lake! You know, this is starting to make sense. You have been drinking! <laughs> <laughs> No, really. Ansel is the good guy. Mordred is a bad guy. Dr. Merlin is a good witch. Morgane is a bad witch. Lake Vortigan is the battlefield. And Excalibur is a prize. <laughs> Morgane summons and shackles the destroyer. Played by Merrick Anton. Cool costume. But she tries to take the sword from Ace and Xiao Young. But they are in a chalk circle. Clever magical protection. And it works. Morgane ends up with the sword. The ceiling crashes down around them. There is a portal to Morgane's castle. The doctor goes through left the steward. Ace follows with a box of silver bullets. Morgane sets the destroyer loose. The destroyer sends the others flying. The brigadier knocks out the doctor and rushes back into the castle. He looks at the beast and says, Get off my world! Then he kills it with the silver bullets. Back in the real world! The game tries to fire the nuclear missile, but the doctor confronts her, convinces her that there's no honor warfare. She stops a countdown at one second. Yeah, cause that's never happened before. <laughs> <laughs> now this part I don't get. Vampira. Ansel is in love with her. Vampira imprisons powerful Morgane and her son Mordred. How? Perhaps she has drawn a chalk sound to keep them in. <laughs> Funny. That's it for today. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And let us know what Doctor Who stories you'd like us to discuss in the comment section down below. Join us next time for a Manhattan and Doctor Who Mummy on the Orient Express. I'm Pierre. And I am Vivian. See you, See you next, next time. time.